Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Explorer. In this video, I'm going to solve and find the value of this amazing simplification math problem without using a calculator, which is f raised to power 8 minus f raised to power 7 minus f raised to power 6. Now, how can we solve this problem? So here, first of all, we will change these two powers 8 and 7 to, we can write f raised to power 8 as, it can be written as 6 plus 2 minus add raised to power this seven can be written as six plus one minus now this one number will be the same add raised to power six now here in the first two terms we will use an exponential math property so here in these two terms we will use this exponential math property add raised to power m plus n which can also be written as add raised to power m times add raised to power n so using this exponential math property here this equation will become implies this will become at raised to power 6 times at raised to power 2 minus this will become at raised to power 6 times at raised to power 1 minus and this number will be the same now what we will do here here to get to all the terms here at raised to power 6 is common so let us take out at raised to power 6 common from all the terms. So this will become here at raised to power 2 is left minus here at raised to power 1 is left which is simply 8 minus and here only 1 is left. Then we will simplify these two numbers. So first of all we will change this 8 to its exponential form. So here we can write this 8 as 2 raised to power 3 or 2 cube whole raised to power 6 times now 8 square is 8 times 8 is 64 so this is 64 minus no minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9 now here in this first one number we will use an exponential math property so here we will use this exponential identity r raised to power m or raised to power n can also be written as r raised to power m times n no using this identity here the first number will become this implies here we will write the base and we will multiply the power so 3 times 6 is 18 times here 64 minus 9 gives him 55 now what we will do here here we will try to find the value of 2 raised to power 18 so we will further simplify this 2 raised to power 18 and then we will find its value so here we can write this 2 raised to power 18 is 18 can be written as 9 times 2 times 55 now here in this one number we will use this one exponential math property here this number is in this one form so we will change it from this one form to this form so this equation will become here we can write this as 2 raised to power 9 whole raised to power 2 times 55 now here we will try to find the value of 2 raised to power 9 that what is the value of 2 raised to power 9 so 2 raised to power 9 means we need to multiply to 9 times so multiplying to 9 times from here we will get 512 now here we will replace 2 raised to power 9 with this value so this equation will become implies the value of 2 raised to power 9 is 512 whole square times 55 and we can further write this number as 512 can be written as 500 plus 12 whole square times 55 now what we will do here here we will use a plus b whole square identity in this one number so here we will use this one identity in the first number a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab now using this identity here this first number will become here a is 500 and b is 12 so this equation will become this implies so a square no a is 500 so this will become 500 square plus b square b is 12 so this will become 12 square plus 2 times AB. No, A is 500 and B is 12 times 55. 
now here we need to find the value of these two squares and add up these three numbers so here the value of 500 square is 5 square is 25 and these two zeros will become double so this will become 250,000 now 12 square is simply 144 plus now here 2 times 500 is 1000 and 12 times 1000 is 12 times 0 is 0 12 times 0 is 0 12 times 0 is 0 and 12 times 1 is 12 so this gives him 12,000 times 55 we will add these three numbers and then we multiply the result with 55 so let us add these three numbers so we'll start from the ones position so 0 plus 4 plus 0 is 4 0 plus 4 plus 0 is again 4 now 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1 comma 2 plus 0 is 2 no 1 plus 5 is 6 and 2 so the addition of these three numbers gives him 262,144 times 55. Now here we need to multiply these two numbers. So here we can multiply these two numbers by ordinary or simple multiplication. But here I will use another trick, a very simple trick to multiply these two numbers. So in that trick we will change this 55 to the sum of 50 plus 5 and then we will multiply this number inside that two numbers. So here we can write this number as the first number 262,144 will be the same times and here we can write this 55 as 50 plus 5. Now we will multiply this number first with 50 and then with 5. So this will become, now first we multiply this number with 50. So this will become 262,144 times 50 plus we will multiply this number with 5 so this will become 262,144 times 5 now let's multiply these two numbers with each other so this will become here we need to multiply this number with 50 so here this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 5 is we need to multiply this number with 5 so we will start from 5 5 times 4 is 20 so 0 2 will be carried 5 times 4 is 20 20 plus 2 is 22 so 2 2 will be carried 5 times 1 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 no 5 times 2 is 10 so 0 1 will be carried 5 times 6 is 30 30 plus 1 is 31 so 1 3 will be carried 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 3 is 30 so the product of these two numbers gives him 13,107,200 plus now we need to multiply 5 with this number so again 5 times 4 is 20 0 2 will be carried 5 times 4 is 20 20 plus 2 is 22 so 2 2 2 will be carried 5 times 1 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 comma 5 times 2 is 10 so 0 1 will be carried 5 times 6 is 30 30 plus 1 is 31 1 3 will be carried 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, so this will become 1,310,720. Now finally we will add these two numbers. Now to add these two numbers, again we will start from the ones position. So 0 plus 0 is 0, no, 2 plus 0 is 2, no, 7 plus 2 is 9, 0 plus 7 is 7 1 plus 0 is 1 3 plus 1 is 4 comma 1 plus 3 is 4 and 1 so finally 14 million 417,920 is our answer and value of this nice and interesting simplification math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching